Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name is Tyrone and welcome back to Tomica Land. Uh, I think we'll just crack on as if nothing ever happened. Um, these are ones I showed in a previous Tomica video on this channel. Some Glorias, a Cedric, as he gropes for the boxes. <laughs> um, no, we have two Glorias and a Leopard. We haven't opened a Cedric yet, but we'll do that now. Um, so if you're interested in Tomica, go back and watch the first video I did uh, in this little mini-series of Tomica. It was only about 35 seconds for me, but it might have been a week in video posting land um, as we open a Nissan Cedric HT Turbo Excellence. Excellence being the trim level. I'm sure it's excellent when we get it out of the box. There we go. Reluctant little fella. Oh yes. So yeah, um, I was in the middle of a story about the little shop I visited in Tokyo. With the two old men that ran it. I think they might be might have been brothers, but I don't know. And, uh, oh, look at that. Sweet. Oh, look at that paint job. Um, we were on the lookout for Matchbox because Matchbox did have a lot of uh, Japan releases over the years, especially the 80s uh, and maybe 70s. Um, oh. That's really nice. And we stumbled across a Lincoln Continental and a Cadillac in Tomica, not Matchbox, in this shop. It was behind glass uh, and the prices were high. There were no bargains in this shop, but the, uh, the fines were there to be found, so to speak. Uh, and I'd already spent a Breathtaking amount, of <laughs> breathtaking amount of money on the trip on toy cars, and I was feeling so sheepish. But then I saw these two cars, and I wanted them bad. Uh, so I looked at my wife, and she rolled her eyes, and which is always the reluctant nod, isn't it? Um, so I put them on the counter, and I was uh, fingering through the. Uh, dwindling supply of yen in my wallet and the man punched the numbers into a calculator because language barrier is always a thing um, and uh, he gave the total and my wife picked up the calculator and put in her version of what it could be and he said in pretty close to perfect English you might find them cheaper in another shop. And uh, I couldn't help but laugh. And I thought, I must remember that whenever I'm selling something and the buyer tries to haggle. You might find them cheaper in another shop. So we bought them at the asking price and uh, yeah, it added to my sheepishness. But I got over it. I think I was out buying more Tomica in uh, Tokyo train station the very next morning. But that is lovely with suspension. Oh man, don't I get carried away with my yakking. Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Oh, that's the Cedric. Of course it is. You probably knew that. All business in Tokyo today. Looking very nice. I'll pop them up on a turntable at some point through the video and have my expert editor edit. Um, this wasn't bought from Tokyo, this was bought online. Uh, the Mitsubishi Galant GTO MR. Um, if you ever wondered what the main difference between how 
New Zealanders and Australians speak. One of the obvious differences is um, in Australia, a lot of people call this the gallant, and in New Zealand, nobody calls it the gallant, but they call it the gallant. <laughs> oh, look at that! How cute! Oh, I was actually thinking that was going to be a bright blue, but no. Uh, jokes aside about pronunciation, chance in New Zealand is good luck, and uh, chance in Australia is good luck, uh, or luck. But it depends where you come from in Australia. You might say chance, but probably you'll say chance. So there's a, a micro accent lesson for you. Look at the size difference. Look at that. Hmm. I believe that's accurate. I believe they are to scale. Oh, they look superb. Does it have suspension? Yes, it does. Kids get airborne. When you're a teenager, don't you love finding that bit of road outside of town that, uh, when driven over at the right speed, gets you just a little bit airborne? Or is that just me? Look at the metallics. Such pretty cars. Gee, you could have a whole car park of these, couldn't you? Let's open this one. This is one of the others I bought from that much talked about now toy shop. Um, when I picked this up, uh, I sort of nodded to the old guy behind the counter and motioned to him, could I open it? And he smiled and nodded, and then I, I started to do this. And uh, he almost had a heart attack and motioned for me to bring it straight to him, which I did, and he opened it with a butter knife. So that's why I get my, my butter knife uh, hint from. And he opened it for me like I was a stupid Westerner. Well, actually, that's me reading into it. He, would have been too polite to suggest I was stupid or a Westerner. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. There's some weight to this. There's quite a lot of weight to this. I don't know what year this was manufactured or released by Tomka. But that is a old... Um, Presumably Nissan. But how would I know? Maybe it's on the bottom. Mm, gee, lack of details there. It's just saying Prince Gloria. So yeah. No idea of the details of this car. I'm imagining it's uh, a very old Nissan or maybe Datsun. It's got prints on that boot lid. Crazy amount of detail. And suspension. I think we've exhausted all of our little vintage Neos. This is a pamphlet a lot of the cars in my collection come with. Certainly the ones I got from Japan itself, not online, but um, actually that came from online, so I don't know. Wow. As the Tomica side of my collection expands exponentially, that was fun. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, comment down below 
Tell me what you think of these little masterpieces. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.